Hi, I'm Drex, and this is an introduction to poise spinning from Spin Balls. In this video, we're going to learn about timing and direction, one of the most important and useful topics in the poi world. Timing and direction is a method for classifying all the ways two objects can travel around a circle relative to each other. Because we usually spin two poi at any given point, this means that we're likely to use these classifications constantly. When we talk about direction, we're talking about which direction the poi are spinning relative to each other. They can be spinning in the same direction, that is, both poi are going either clockwise or counterclockwise. Alternately, they could be spinning in opposite directions, that is, one poi is spinning clockwise and the other one is spinning counterclockwise. Timing refers to the phasing of the poi, that is, how the starting and ending points of their paths are shifted relative to each other. There are really an infinite number of possible timings, but for poi spinning, we tend to focus on just two, because they're the most symmetrical and thus the most aesthetically pleasing. These two timings are together time, and split time. With two possible directions and two possible timings, that gives us a total of four ways in which these properties can be combined together. We would refer to these four combinations as follows. Together time, same direction, or tog same, in which the poi trace the same circle at the same time. This results in a doubling effect when two copies of the same shape are seen side by side. Together time, opposite direction, or tog op in which the poi meet at the top and bottom of their paths, but split on either side. This results in patterns that appear to reflect across a vertical line of symmetry. Split time, same direction, or split same, in which the poi travel in the same direction, but are always pointed away from each other. This results in patterns that seem to reflect across a constantly shifting line of symmetry that rotates on a point at the center of the pattern. Split time, opposite direction, or split up, in which the poi meet at either side of a pattern, but are split top and bottom. This results in patterns that appear to reflect across a horizontal line of symmetry. Each and every trick you will ever learn that involves two poi will make use of at least one of these combinations. This also means that whenever you learn a new flat plane move, you can be sure that there are at least three other variations on it, one for each additional timing and direction combination. Start practicing these with static spins and extension, practicing each timing and direction combination in both wheel as well as wall plane. Split time can be a little tricky to master. Start by counting off one, two, one, two, one, two, and assigning one poi to point down with each beat. You could also imagine the poi walking, with each poi alternating steps. Timing and direction is a crucial tool that not only helps you understand the movement of the poi in any particular trick you're learning, it can also help you uncover new possibilities you've yet to explore. Thanks so much for watching. Now show us what you can do. Share your photos and videos of your progress with spin balls.